My name is Laura Burkholder, and I'm a wildlife biologist at Lawrence Livermore Lab. And each year we conduct uh, bird banding surveys as part of the National MAPS program to monitor avian um, productivity and survival. So we have 10 nets like this that are distributed in our study area that capture passerines, and we capture and ban these birds, and we try to determine their age, and that information goes into a national database that's used to analyze the data and determine long-term productivity and survivorship. So we come to the net and um, we look for birds captured, and as soon as we see a bird, the first priority is get to that bird as soon as we can. Okay, I'm going to go for it. Now this bird's a little bit tricky because it, what it's done is it's gotten into the net and twisted around a couple times and pulled, it's um, gathered a lot of the net in its um, claws and pulled the net over itself. He is all twisted. Now this bird's a little bit tricky because it, what it's done is it's gotten into the net and twisted around a couple times and pulled, okay. it's um, gathered a lot of the net in its um, claws. He's a biter, these guys will bite. But it can help to, uh, you know, to distract them. And if, if that helps me get it out, I don't mind getting bit because I'm sure they don't like getting caught. Shrikes have a predatory bill. See that hook bill? That's why I'm bleeding. Because they are predators. And so they have talons, talon-like claws. And they have these, these sharp hook bill. And uh, they actually hunt mice but they're considered passerines. And he looks like he might be, in terms of injury, okay. So, got him. So when I put him in the bag, I usually kind of hold it towards my body because after all that, I would not want to lose it. And then there he is, a very unhappy little guy. And we will get on out of here. Go processing. So the first thing that we do is we take it out of the bag. And since this is a shrike, sometimes that can be a little bit fun since they bite. Finding the head is easy because they bite. So we ha hold them in this grip. This is called the bander's grip. And it's, um. oh, it's not a kid. And it's a uh, grip that allows us to hold the bird without it getting away, and it doesn't tend to hurt the bird. So this is a loggerhead shrike, and I'm going to put a band on it. So we put the band around the leg. Just real quick. That's the most important thing. You want to get a bird. Want to get the bird identified correctly. Um, to the right species and get a band on it. So the next thing that is really important for us to do is to age the bird, and there are several ways we can do that. And the first thing I'm going to do is look at its wing. That's a w one way we can age it. They can be tough to tell. I'm looking at its breast to see if it's spotty or gray or brown. The other characteristics that we're looking for is whether the birds are breeding, and um, whether they're molting and what kind of flight feather wear they have. This bird banding program is actually a very important contribution to the national data that is collected on birds. And this MAPS program has been go ongoing since um, I think um, at least 20 years now, maybe even longer. And there's a long-term database that's used to monitor the survivorship of these passerines, the songbirds, in North America. And this has helped immensely uh, towards conservation of these, these species. There are a lot of declining birds, especially in grassland habitats, as, as in the one that we're working in. And this kind of data can really have a huge contribution to um, avian conservation. And we feel really fortunate to be able to be a part of that here at the lab.